Ragazzi, welcome to the Miss Student Italy channel. Ejem is here one more time to save your pretty asses. Today we are going to talk about how to do pre-enrollment to the Italian universities. This specific video is not only for aspiring med students, but also if you think about applying engineering, law, um, architecture or other kind of science or social faculties, like basically many faculties of Italian public universities they make you walk through this process if you want to study in Italy and proceed with your student visa. We are going to break down a lot of terms here so that you can proceed with no mistake. If you want to study in an Italian university, there are different ways to do that. There are different exams or different application processes, more or less. But I need to tell you that 90% of the faculties and universities, they make you go through prep pre-enrollment process if you are a non-European student. Let's start with some basics and then obviously I will reply to my students questions that they asked on our telegram group. Right now we are more than 170 people there. Every day we are asking questions, answering and supporting each other. So it's a great community. If you haven't joined us yet, please do. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment and share. Support me, please, because I'm taking my hours to make this content for you. Number one, numero uno is coming, pre-enrollment. What is pre-enrollment? Pre-enrollment is a process that is created specifically for non-European or international students to verify their personal information and education qualifications. So what you have to do, with it, do in this pre-enrollment, you collect some of your documents regarding your education, regarding your identity, and then you upload these documents with their translations. Obviously, there are some rules to upload these documents. They have to be legal, they have to be signed and stamped, they have to be translated to the accepted languages, and you upload these documents so that the Italian university that you will apply to and the Italian embassy later that you will work to get your student visa, they will check these documents to see if your education is qualified enough to go to an Italian university. In this context, after some basics, we will also explain the importance of pre-enrollment for declaration of value or dichiarazione di valore for Italian government. And these are all related to each other and there's a timeline that you have to follow. But before coming to that, the second question is, who has to do it? Are a non-Italian person and especially a non-European person who studied high school or other uh, degrees outside Italy, you have to go through this process. So regarding uh, UK citizens, United States citizens or people from Turkey, people from I don't know, Iran, India, Russia, uh, they all have to go through this process, okay? These are the nationalities that come to my mind, but obviously it's much more than this. And um, the thing is, if you are an Italian citizen, but let's say that you studied high school in UK or in USA, the answer to this question, whether you have to do the pre-enrollment or not, depends on the type of high school and the type of high school diploma that you get. Because, for example, if you complete A-levels and if you meet the criteria that is stated on the Italian governmental or ministry websites, if you qualify for this, you don't have to do the pre-enrollment process. But let's say that you don't qualify for these criteria and you graduated outside Italy, you may have to do this pre-enrollment process. The best way to learn it is first go to University, the website, the platform that we have to do this pre-enrollment process. And once you log in there and get a resort area, you can actually start to check for universities so that you can click on the universities and the departments and see if they are asking for pre-enrollment or not for your condition. The second um, opportunity is to contact to the Italian embassy where you live. They might navigate you about this if you need pre-enrollment or not. And third, might be having a consultancy service so that a person, an experienced person, can navigate your paperwork, make sure that your um, data, your process has been verified by um, 
official authorities and make sure that you are doing the right thing. For example, if you need some help, you can book a meeting with me to get some answers to your questions on your mind to clear some doubts. But let's say that if you cannot handle this at all, you are very confused and you don't know where to start, what to do, you don't know anything and you cannot risk it, you can actually get a full consultancy from me, which includes not only the pre enrollment but the whole university navigation scholarship application applications if there is one for your university and all kind of paperwork can be done within this consultancy service obviously this is just a suggestion personally i'm experienced with turkish students indian students iranian students um, european students who graduated from universities or different courses uh, trying to get through this declaration of value document and UK students, USA students, they are also welcomed. And let's say that you wanted to get a consultation from me, ask a question to me, but I believe that I cannot help you properly. I'm not the expert of that question. I will frankly tell you the situation and won't waste your time. Let's move on. Which universities or faculties ask for pre-enrollment? Now, this answer is either on university or on the website of the university that you want to apply to. What you have to do is either somebody will tell you uh, in a telegram group or as a consultant, consultancy service, somebody will tell you or you have to do it on your own. So you have to go to that website, check for the faculty page and see if they are uh, asking for this pre-enrollment. Speaking for the um, public universities, uh, English medicine faculties, they all ask for this pre-enrollment for non-European students, okay? Now, my niche is mainly uh, aspiring medical students. I have to tell you that. So all candidate medical students uh, who are non-European, they have to go through this process. And moreover, if you are, for example, applying to Politecnico di Torino, Politecnico di Milano, I know that also these universities are asking for that. The um, degrees about global law, global economics, business and management, they are also asking about this process. So uh, as you can understand, many faculties are asking for it. You just have to verify uh, and make sure. Regarding the deadline, the deadline will vary on the university that you apply to, okay? For example, last year, a student of mine who is applying to University of Napoli, Federico, uh, they had a more strict deadline from a student who is planning to apply to University of Milan. I had a European candidate who is applying to University of Turin and she had to do a pre-application, which is something different. And my non-European applicant who wants to go into University of Turin he didn't have to go, uh, go through this pre-application, but he had to do the pre-enrollment. So it depends on the university and you have to verify the deadline because when you enter the system that we do the pre-enrollment, which is university study again, uh, you might see that the system is still open until late September or even October, it depends on the year actually. Uh, you might see that the system is open and still accepting your application, but uh, at the end, the university is the place that will check and verify your pre-enrollment process and contact to the embassy, okay? So if you set a deadline, let's say in July 15, you have to do that pre-enrollment until July 15. Right now, uh, only a few universities uh, updated this deadline information regarding 2024. But as the time passes, I'm sure that they're gonna upload these deadlines for themselves and you can keep an eye. Uh, if I were you, I would just do it as soon as possible and get rid of it. Obviously, let's say that you are a graduating student from high school and you are waiting for your high school diploma, which is a required document for this pre-enrollment, and you are stressed over the deadlines, you can get a provisional diploma 
there are some uh, alternative ways to make up for the missing documents but obviously you have to know these hacks and make sure that they are working with the specific university that you are applying to it's not a very complicated process okay until now there are many people and many websites that have talked about this process so please go to google and search in english or in italian not in your mother language okay because this is another country and uh, just check for the content like we are doing it right now i i mean bravo but i know that many people are not doing it and asking me in the dms or asking in the telegram asking on the facebook the same questions over and over again but it's already written and done and told to you so please go and find the information obviously there are some exceptional or hard situations for students for example if you are a refugee or if you are of a special condition with your current university or high school the things that you have to go through may vary and this is totally understandable in that case you can always ask me the questions but the thing is if you are asking a very generic question that you can find the answer in this video or on the web I'm not gonna probably answer it nobody will because it's it's a waste of time next question we have an interesting question this year until now to be honest I never heard of it but a couple of people asked does your timing affect your acceptance or acceptance chance um, let me try to clarify I guess they're asking if uh, they uh, if there's a difference that they do this pre-enrollment in March or in June July August whatever they are asking if this affects their acceptance to the Italian universities well um, the short answer is no because there is no such a ranking or priority in this pre-enrollment pre-enrollment is just to verify your academic qualifications and your documents uh, what matters for your acceptance is the exam itself and the ranking after the exam so it doesn't matter on the other hand and here comes the pro tip of mine after four years of experience in consultancy and teaching if you do this earlier first you're gonna be less stressed until the exam day second let's say that you make a small mistake let's say that you forgot to upload upload to your uh, your photo or let's say that you forgot to attach a translation but you did the application if you realize it before the deadline and if you still have time there are ways to create a communication and ask for an edit because once you do this pre-enrollment you cannot edit it on your own you need a confirmation from the university but it is doable if you have enough time because you should understand that the Italian authorities, including embassies, universities or scholarship institutions, they are already dealing with thousands of people and they reply super slow. So if you make a mistake or if you have a question, you should know that you're going to probably wait at least two or three weeks to get an answer. So if you have time until the deadline, you can fix things up the other question is where do you do it i already told you universally point it I'm wow all the necessary websites and a tutorial pdf because uh, i'm not gonna do a tutorial video right now uh, as there are already uh, papers about it so i'm just gonna link one of them so that you can navigate through a uh, university platform and see how to do your pre-enrollment uh, it's pretty easy once your documents are correct and ready um, what are the required documents? As I told you, this is to verify your academic qualifications until you come to an Italian university. So therefore, they obviously need your identification documents, your diplomas, your transcripts. If the department that you're applying to is asking for a language proficiency for English or Italian, you should also upload that and let's say that you are already a university student or graduate depending on your condition you might have to apply uh, add additional documents to show it before i share the screenshots of the telegram group questions there is one more point that i like to make and that is how is pre-enrollment is related to the declaration of value and what the hell is declaration of value why it's important for us everybody is saying something about it but what does it mean declaration of value is actually a piece of paper that has to be prepared by the related italian embassy 
which summarize and verifies your academic qualifications. So if you do the pre-enrollment first online, the university and then the embassy will have the time and chance to check your documents online. So they're gonna have an idea about you, they will have a file about you and your documents. And once you pass an exam and once you are fully eligible to enroll to an Italian university, which uh, is made sure after you receive an acceptance letter from an Italian university, then you will get this acceptance letter. You will collect a lot of, a lot of documents regarding your visa and your enrollment. And then you will apply knock knock to that Italian embassy and those guys will be like, oh, okay, I know you, you had that high school diploma and you had this personal uh, information on university. Let me check you, what's your number? What's the uni that you applied to? Okay, I got you. Give me your documents. I will verify that they are not fake, they are legal, original, and they are meeting all the criteria. Let me check your documents. Let me work on that while I drink my espresso. And you just wait stressfully over there for your student visa and your declaration of value. I'm gonna give you your papers back. So what they do is they take your hard copy papers as well. And then they work on your student visa and declaration of value. Usually you have to make it one more visit before you come to Italy to get your passport back with the student visa on it, hopefully, and the declaration of value paper. I'm gonna put the picture of mine because accidentally I found my declaration of value paper from 2017, uh, a few days ago. So it's actually a piece of paper, nothing abstract, nothing crazy. So you take that paper and take your original documents to bring that junk of paper to the Italy and then you ha will have to present them to an Italian university. Ta-da, you're ready. So I think I covered all the basics. Let me check my screenshots from Telegram group if I missed any um, unusual or exceptional questions. Okay, uh, a message is, can we fill in the form if our 12th grade results are due to come in two months? Yes, you can actually get provisional transcripts and provisional diploma from your high school. You have to ask it and maybe you have to uh, show them the right format if your school is not experienced in that. But you can first upload the provisional ones and then you are responsible with updating them with the actual finalized documents. But all documents need to be translated for DOV. Actually, all documents that you will apply, uh, upload for pre-enrollment and therefore for DOV, they have to be translated and legalized in your country. If your country is a member of the Apostle um, Agreement, uh, it's an international agreement. Uh, I will link related information below. It's an international agreement where countries recognize each other's uh, documents. But if your country is not part of that agreement, you have to go to a notary in your country and get your paper legalized. This process will vary depending on where you are. So therefore, it's important to confirm it with the Italian embassy in your country. Is it all online or we need to visit the embassy at any point? Yeah, I think I explained the pre enrollment part is pretty online. And after the exam, once you get an application letter, the student visa application is in person, at least in the countries that I know. Yes, you have to legalize and notarize, if necessary, your documents before you upload to the university. What else? Yep. Make sure to like this video, share and let me know if I missed something. You can ask in the comments and don't forget to check my IMET courses if you want the best quality preparation for the IMET exam. And obviously you can ask me about consultancy or you can book a meeting with me or uh, whatever service that you may need to. You can find all of them in the links below. Just please read the description. I wish you good luck. I hope this was helpful and I hope we don't have last minute surprises just like we did in last year regarding applications or the exam. But if we do, you know that I will be making videos about them. Ciao!